there. I'm his big bear, Ron. And <laughs> the question was asked, um, what makes you glad to be alive? <laughs> I guess a silly answer I could give is that well, I don't know what it feels like to be dead. <laughs> oh, me. And really, uh, I read what you're, I, I think I read what you're asking in the question. Um, and to me, there's, uh, in my opinion, uh, incredible joy that's to be had. <laughs> uh, living on this planet and um, watching and observing the achievements that we human beings are making happen uh, look at what we're exploring and oh it's exciting um, um, people all over the world I'm I, I, I'm aware that we all uh, struggle to some degree to achieve our happiness and everything from a, the simplest of meals to the most extravagant vacation you know we work hard to do what we have to do to to um, sustain our life and um, I'm nearly 50 years old I will be before the end of the year and I am grateful honestly for every moment that is added up to what I have now I look at life a whole lot differently now than I used to um, I don't believe that there's a grand purpose in it all I don't believe there's a reason for everything but I do believe everything is due to reasons um, and of course discovering those reasons requires a lot of tracing back in all of the uh, relevant directions but you know in my life right now um, I'm able to do the things that I want to do. Um, I'm able to be as honest as I want to be. I have friends all over the world who who mean the world to me. And I have my husband, the man that I'm very proud to be married to. The friends that we have, I'm so very glad to be a part of their lives and so glad that they're a part of mine and I have friends of my very own you know uh, who I'm so very excited to know I mean their life the things that they do to to live and to express themselves just excites me um, but Even the simplest of pleasures, though, I mean, just enjoying a peanut butter sandwich, you know, on my favorite kind of bread, or a or that perfect cup of coffee, feeling the warm beverage just going down my throat. Um, sometimes soaking in a hot tub, you know. Uh, some of the pleasures that I enjoy and uh, the pleasures of yes uh, choosing the entertainments that I wish to see and um, doing with my own hands you know cooking and playing music and being on the internet isn't the internet exciting you know I lived <laughs> oh my goodness uh, the internet 
gee, how exciting. How I mean, what the Internet has done for all of us. Wow. Oh, I mean, I don't really, I could do, we could do videos up on end, you know, without end on what the Internet has done for us. You know, I grew up in the day before microwave ovens and trash compactors, and I remember the day before color, tele color television was, you know, in every average household. Now, we didn't have a color TV in our home until I was 18. And cell phones. <laughs> now we have um, civilian passengers who are buying tickets to fly into outer space. I mean, that is incredible. The other day I was looking online, uh, this flying car that's been invented and more work being done on that. Oh God, it's so exciting. <laughs> oh man, and life is just full of so much wonder. This universe is incredible and our attachment to it and our ability to mingle with it and to embrace it and to grow to comprehend understand it so that we can you know as do as the old philosophical diatribe says nature to be commanded must be obeyed and it's wonderful when we know a little bit more about it all so that we can work in harmony with it all. Life itself is exciting. Um, <laughs> oh me, it's exciting. But I'm not afraid of death either. It's not death that I fear. No, it's life that I want to live as deliberately as I can all the way up to the finish and I want to be able to say at the end of it all damn what a ride that was <laughs>